So, what's up everybody? And today we're taking a look at the Buzzsaw, otherwise known as the MG42. This is the light machine gun of choice by a friend of mine. He uses this weapon non-stop and it's time for me to try it out for myself. I think personally that now that I've used this weapon, I think this is the most powerful light machine gun in the game at the moment. For as far as I've tried, and I haven't tried the normal KSP light machine gun. But so far this weapon has been the strongest one so far. So let's take a look at the mods. It shouldn't be really that difficult. I'm using the light barrel because it gives more accuracy and stability. And I rather sacrifice just one damage to make sure that I can hit something in the face much more easier so why not um, of course we're using the competitors compensator it's my well it's just my barrel extender of choice I use it all the time so why not um, actually this weapon would be pretty useful if you put a funnel of fun nozzle on it for more damage but uh, I think the plus two damage is enough for me using the bipod of course and the lead combo because we want as much stability as we possibly can get. Overall stats. Magazine of 150. Which is just between all of the magazine sizes from all the light machine guns. It's 100 or 200. This one is 150. Which is nice. Total ammo of 563. I'm using fully loaded ace of course. Made a fire of 1200. Which makes it the fastest light machine gun of all of them. If I am right. Um, damage of 38.8 which, which is on the lower side Accuracy of 40 Which is average For a light machine gun It's quite a lot Stability of 64 which is nice Concealment of 0 But if you're gonna use a light machine gun You don't give a shit about your concealment And a threat of 34 um, If you use threatening fire this is pretty important Otherwise fuck it That's basically the weapon for you now we're after the gameplay. So, welcome back to Mall Crasher. Um, it's basically the fact that it's pretty late at the moment and I just want... It, it sounds wrong, but I just want to get this over with. I mean, I still have some light editing to do. And I just want to go to sleep, man. Let's just do everything that I have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> I was still hidden. <laughs> Wrecked. Still using the lock and load music. Sounds pretty good. I have to say that with this weapon, the one thing that stands out the most are the sights from every light machine gun you have basically no sights and this one has sights holy fucking shit it's possible it's fucking possible I mean this weapon isn't really that accurate but damn we at least have fucking we have a little bit of sights at least for close range these sights work they fucking work and that's amazing. I think that just makes this weapon just one of the reasons why it's so much better than the others. But this weapon also feels this a lot stronger than all the other like machine guns. And that's basically because of the high rate of fire. Because you have such an extremely high ammo pool. You can get that. You, you, this weapon can even have a higher magazine size. You won't even notice it. Over a high, higher rate of fire. I mean, yes, you are gonna burn through your ammo pretty quickly, but you have to watch your aim for that. And basically, my way of using this weapon is use it as a shotgun, unless you're gonna use the bipod function. Which has basically always been the way that I am using my light machine guns. The only difference with this light machine gun and all the other ones is that you can basically just bring hell to all the other units and 
with the other like machine guns. You can do that too, but it's a bit harder. Brrr. Yeah, I still have to destroy stuff. So it's best to just get to it then. Alright, done. Come here, boy. And if you look at the aim with the bipod on. I mean, look at that. Look at that spread. It's not that much when you think about it. I mean, if you get out of it, I'm just gonna aim for that one. Look at that. I have to use burst fire. And you don't even see the bullets. But when I go into this. Ah, there they are. So you see the difference? I think that's 80 accuracy. I f that That's just fucking doubled. The stability is pretty godly. If I say so myself. But god damn, and that accuracy with the bipod is just... It became the bipod basically became the new standard for all the light machine guns. And this weapon really is extremely powerful with the bipod on. I think I still I still have to say that this weapon is probably the strongest light machine gun that we have. If you don't count the minigun. The minigun can be stronger than you think. The weapon has a lot more damage potential, that's one thing that I know for sure. Oh. Oh fuck. That's uh, also the biggest problem with light machine guns. If you're gonna get tasered... Uh, well, good luck. <laughs> because or you're not gonna hit them, or you're gonna lose like 100 bullets or something. This is ridiculous. I think this is the best spot to stay in. Because you can hit everything. I mean, this just looks fucking stupid. It's way too easy. I'm just gonna reload, though. Reload speed is also pretty quick. Which is... Quite of an important thing to say about a light machine gun. I just wanna see real quick if there's a bulldozer somewhere. I don't think so. Nope, there isn't. Alright. Oh wait, there's one. So that was in range. That's pretty quickly. It's an overkill. It was a green one. And it was in range. And we killed it in around a second. And I missed a lot of bullets. So that's pretty good. So that's the weapon for you. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Later guys.